Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you the basics of the iPad Air 4 so you guys can get started with. For those of you who are new to the iPad family, this video is for you. For those who already know their iPad, do stick around as I'll be showing you some of my favorite features at the end of the video. are off Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, AirDrop, and Airplane Mode. You can also mute your iPad completely so no sound is heard. There are many other quick shortcut access to such as your camera app, notes, and your timer app. To add or remove shortcuts from the control center, you can go into settings and then find control center from the list at the left hand side of the screen. Here you can customize it to your preference. You can add or remove items from the list. We have a notification center for the iPad, which will show you all the notifications from all the apps you have installed. To clear the notification, just press the X at the top right and then press clear button, which will clear the screen. Slide back up and the screen will be gone. Now, if you swipe from the left of the screen, you'll see today's view screen, or it is also called the home screen widget. The screen will show you today's view widget that shows you the current information from your favorite app at a glance. So you will see today's headlines, stock market stats, weather and many other things. You can customize it by adding or removing things from the today's view screen by scrolling all the way down and tapping on the edit screen button. You can also make it permanently appear on your home screen by toggling keep on home screen option. Now all of these icons can be managed as well. You can delete apps and search for apps with the new iOS 14. Now if you want to start an app, you just have to tap on any app you want to start. If you want to return back to the home screen, just swipe up from the bottom center edge of the screen to the top. If 
you want to switch from different app, swipe up from the bottom edge of the screen to the middle of the screen. Select any app by swiping left or right and then tapping on the app. To close the app, select the app, then swipe upwards on the app. delete apps on the home screen, long press on an app, and then you'll get the option to delete the app. Another way of deleting the app is long press on an app, and then it'll start to jiggle, and then tap on the X to delete the app. Search for an app, just swipe down from the middle of the screen and you'll get the spotlight search bar. You can search for an app or you can search for anything on the web using this method. With regards to organizing your iPad, maybe you don't want a certain app in an actual location that they're located in. Maybe you want to put them in a folder or with another icon. So in order to do that, long press on an app icon and it'll start to jiggle. Now you can long press on the app and move it around anywhere you want. You can also create a folder by dragging the app on another app. And then you can tap on the folder which got created and then rename the folder. You can drag other apps into the same folder and also remove the app from that folder. You can move the folder around just like any app. At the bottom of the screen, you have the dock where you can add icons and also remove icons. The maximum number of icons you can add is 16, whether it's in portrait mode or in landscape mode. The three apps on the right hand side is your suggested or your most recent app, while the remaining left side are the apps which you have chosen to appear. You can remove the option to show suggested and recent apps in the dock by going into settings, home screen and dock and then turn off toggle for show suggested and recent apps in the dock. Now these are the top five favorite features of mine. The first one is your home screen widget. This is a new feature within iOS 14 which Apple have introduced. Unfortunately, you cannot add the widget to the center of the home screen. You can only add or remove within the left hand side of the screen. Customize this, long press on the widget and then tap on the plus sign at the top left of the screen and then choose your widgets from the list. The second one is holding spacebar to turn it into a moving cursor. If you have any text box open and if you want to move your cursor to the left hand side of the text or to a specific place. To do this, easily just need to hold down on your spacebar and move your finger left or right to move the cursor. This will basically make the cursor like a mouse. This works anywhere where there is a text box open. The third one is shape recognition when marking up on photos. Now Apple helps those who are not artistic enough and creates a shape on your photos. So if I draw a shape roughly and then just 
keep pressing it, the shape will then turn into a perfect shape. So as you can see, triangle will turn into a perfect triangle. A circle will turn into a perfect circle. You've got a star which turns into a perfect star. iOS 14 introduces Picture in Picture which allows you to watch your favorite TV show or video series through YouTube, Netflix or any other video streaming app. So you could be watching your favorite YouTube series while playing a game or reading the news. iOS 14 have also introduced multitasking where you can actually view two applications at the same time via the split screen option. To enable this, make sure you have your apps in the dock that you want to multitask. Start the first app. Here I'll start Safari. Lightly swipe up. Select YouTube and drag it to the left hand side of the screen. And there you go, that's your split screen. You can change the size of your windows by dragging the middle bar to the left hand side or to the right hand side. To completely close the split screen option, just drag the middle bar to the left hand side or to the right hand side. And there you go guys, that was the basic of the iPad Air 4, very easy to follow tutorials on how to get yourself started with. Hope you guys found this useful, if you did please leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.